Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Or it might be afternoon or evening for you. So howdy to everybody who sees this. It is Monday morning, or Monday, March the 2nd, 10, 11 a.m. Okay, I've been trying to clear up some emails. I couldn't believe how many there were. Just I didn't do any yesterday. Nope, needed a break. And that's the hardest part of my, my job for the Lord, <laughs> you could say. Okay, um, I did delete a whole lot of the videos, but I'm watching one. I watched a couple. Now this I'm on this one. And it's 40 minutes, and a lot of it, I stuck with it. Because I felt like, okay, the clips were short. There's a... It's a compilation of many short clips from around the world. What's going on here, what's going on there, but they're in their language. So you can only guess by the pictures what is going on. Okay, some of it is in English. Now, this one, I wanted to share this clip. And if you care to watch the whole thing, you can... Click on the link in the description box. But this channel is called Last Messages. They have 103,000 subscribers. And the way he does his titles, somehow he has a program that turns his letters upside down. Many of you have probably seen this and watched it. In fact, I think one of you... Uh, put it in the comments, some videos to watch. Uh, when I had said there was apparently a lot of censorship going on because all the videos that popped up when I typed in coronavirus updates, I wanted to know what was going on, you know. All I got was NBC, CBS, MSNBC, all, I mean, every single one. So some of you recommended some other sites that were able to get theirs up. And then other networks or whatever you call them, uh, like Brighteon and Patreon and those that are not censoring like YouTube is. Well, anyway, I want to try to read to you what is going on in China. This was on February 27th. That's how behind I am. Yeah, a few days. Anyway, uh, or maybe the person, I don't remember the date, uh, the email, maybe the person didn't see this until a couple, you know, a couple days later. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. This just goes to show you, and you already know it, we're not getting told the truth on mainstream media. We're just not. So, okay, I got to click on this and figure out how to... He goes pretty fast, so I may have to... Um, well, I'll be doing a lot of pausing, but... Anyway, this, this is... See, he titles each little clip before he plays it. I guess it's a he... It's last messages, so I don't know. It might be she. Anyway, this one is called About Wuhan and China in general. Okay? So, it's a gentleman who's talking to us in English. And it says, another 1MM, two capital M's. I'm, I don't know if that means million this could be from some other country. Maybe that means million. I don't know. 1MM. Incinerators on the way. Do you still trust CCP's numbers? What would that be? China's? I don't know what that means. He says, I received a call from Wuhan. He told me that he's in charge of portable incinerator installation in Wuhan. 
，一定是我爸，是他和他别人牵手，完成这个节日。他告诉我说，这个移动文化大家一直传。By the way, you may want to check. The main maker of it. Who's making these things? Portable incinerators have been in use since SARS. They are literally moving crematoriums, or, well, he says. It's typed out. They are literally moving crematorium. Probably typo. The capacity of each one is five tons. Five tons equals to thirty corpses. One incinerator can burn thirty corpses each day. And forty portable incinerators have been sent over to Wuhan. Why? Why can't they tell us this on the news? Forty incinerators times thirty corpses. It is twelve, uh, twelve hundred or one thousand two hundred. One thousand. Whoops! See that disappeared real quick. Uh, one thousand two hundred corpses are burned each day using these incinerators. Those portable incinerators are parked at Fang Kang Hospital. The Li Shen Mountain Hospital. They connected the portable incinerators directly to the hospital doors. Strange. It's like a truck loading procedure. Dead bodies are thrown down from upstairs directly to the ground level. And dragged immediately into the incinerators and cremated right away. The ins. Oh, that went away real quick. Let's go from here. The insider from Wuhan told me, "It's not just forty portable incinerators that were sent to Wuhan. Four hundred thousand portable incinerators are being sent out all over the country." And the government are ordering one million more portable incinerators. One million portable incinerators. Each one can cremate thirty corpses each day. That means they will be able to burn thirty million dead bodies each day. He might. This Chinese man might be doing his own interpreting because of the way it's reading. But anyway, so let's move on. Thirty million dead bodies each day they can burn. Now seriously. They will be able to burn thirty million. Okay, we know China has millions, probably hundreds of millions of people. Boy, and everything comes from China. 
or parts of what we make here in America, parts of it come from China. A lot of medicines come from China. Well, let me move on. Two times the population of New York. Okay. Isn't it horrific? Yes, it is. It was told the discharged patients were all dead bodies in the last few days. So they're telling people these folks were discharged when really they died, is what it sounds like to me. It was told the discharged patients were all dead bodies in the last few days. Three thousand doctors and nurses in Wuhan have been infected. Now, can you still believe the official death toll of 2,000? If there were only 2,000 dead, why did they send over 40 portable incinerators? No, he probably meant not to mention Wuhan already has 47 crematories. Each one with 19 operational line, operation lines. And these 47 crematories are only serving Wuhan. Not covering other area in Hubei province. There are at least 2,000 crematory facilities in Hubei province. 2,000 crematory facilities in Hubei will no doubt be able to handle 100,000 bodies each day. This guy looks like he's freaking out. Wouldn't you... So you tell me how many people have indeed died. And this was on the 27th. Do you still believe only 70,000 people were infected? Yesterday a top level official from some country asked me why are they trying so hard to hide the numbers? I asked him that. I told him that if the virus were originated from bats or other wild animals, the Communist Party would not bother to hide anything. Okay, and then here is the beginning of uh, what I shared the other day. Somebody saying this was what I saw with my own eyes. I was in bed. Wait a minute, I don't remember that. This was what I saw with my own eyes. He was, boy, that went really quick, so quick I can't catch it. I was in bed 18, and he was 17, evidently next to her. He was hospitalized on the morning of January 28th. I was almost the same. But I am younger. You know what? When you catch this disease, I 
team judge and team judge. You will either hold on and live through it or die. So some are surviving. She's in a vehicle telling somebody who is recording her who's in all white gear, the white mask, the white covering for his head, the white suit. She says, but he was not dead then. He was still holding his last breath when they bound his head. His hands and feet were still moving. Then his hands and feet were bound. Yeah, and then it goes into how they put him in a black plastic bag. And this is the part that I reported the other day to wrap him and close the zipper. Then he was wrapped with another plastic bag. So then, um, we know that ended up him being cremated while he was still alive. Horrible atrocities have taken place over there. I'm wondering how come or if has anybody seen any of this going on anywhere but China because I haven't now there's some other things here from last I'm gonna see if I can find something newer from last messages they're apparently getting through on YouTube I'm surprised but it's because AI is the one doing the searching for keywords and um, oh what's his name I just watched one of his videos but it was half of it he has a new channel Tony I think is his name and here let me back this up huh it won't go that's very odd. Okay, well, won't let me go backwards. Strange. Anyway, I'll put the link to this if anybody wants to see the other clips. Some of them have the English, like I said. Uh, most of them, so far, this is only seven, 17 minutes into it. I just wanted to report that. That was going on I didn't realize it was even to that extent and that was on the 27th is the dating of this video today's March 2nd so have we leveled off over there or is it worse I'll try to find out this is part 14 coronavirus the truth part 14 and over here is part 12 part 3 so see they're not going to be updated but I can look and see if there's any here's what I can do click on last messages it's talking about watching what you eat and drink Get, stay as healthy as you can okay I watched this one halfway of the Pope part 14 is about the Pope he's been this was three days ago he got uh, this was so crazy he was out there in the public kissing people on the face and on their head what did the man expect Italy's got people in in quarantine, uh, it's one of the biggest ca cases. I mean, countries in Europe to have the country in Europe that has sounded like to me the most people in quarantine. Anyway, and that was a few days ago. This was three days ago. 
he started getting sick right away. And he's the, uh, but he'll be fine. He's the false prophet. Satan can heal too. And he will, I can tell you that right now. His last video is called Police State Around the Corner. Hashtag Coronavirus. That's if you want to um, check that out. It's only 4 minutes and 49 seconds. Okay, I'm going to end this here. Plead the blood of Jesus over it. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, my computer, all of you, your, your devices, and your internet connections. So we can stay connected no matter what until we're out of here. Alright, with that I'm going to say bye for now y'all. Um, you're all in my prayers. And I say God bless each and every one of you. Let us all stay ready for the imminent rapture of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Take in those of us who have shown ourselves worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. That's Luke 21, 36, in case you didn't know. I also want to remind you of Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. We have nothing to fear. Remember Psalm 91, verse 10, I think it is. Though a thousand may fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, it will not come on me. For I will only look on with my eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Okay, so... You know, you choose to worship another god or a bunch of gods or whatever or no god at all. The Lord will not have mercy on you. Those of you who watch our videos just because you want to see what we're saying, what's going on, you better repent. You better look at what's going on in China. And don't think that just because that's not going on right here in America or wherever you're stationed that it can't happen. You, you may not burn in an incinerator, but you'll burn in hell if you don't repent and give your heart to Jesus Christ. And... Those of you that continue to mock and scoff and say Jesus didn't die for us or he died but didn't rise because he was nothing but a man and nobody special or whatever. You think it's a myth. You laugh and scorn and, and mock and scoff. You will pay your price. And the burden doesn't end in hell. It doesn't end. Just remember that. Okay, I'll end it here. I'll, um, well, I don't know what more to say. Dear God, open the eyes of their, open the eyes of their heart. That's a song. But people need their eyes opened. Their hearts softened. Their ears opened. Let them see what's going on all around the world and consider it. All right, with that I'm done. Talk to you later.